welcome back to Sailing Joy. And on today's video, I don't know if you guys could hear that noise. It's coming from the electric cables. And my guess is so we're talking about those electric cables here. So it's gonna be the moment of truth whenever we demass Joy. We have arrived in beautiful Valencia in Spain. Every cruiser spending the winter time in Europe make a plan and choose a safe marina to leave their boat or to live aboard during the winter months. We chose Valencia because of mild temperatures from November to April and because of its central Mediterranean location. Go for it, you can do it. And as you can see, it's not only us, everybody that stops on the marina. We have very good neighbors here. Marcelo is uh, also cleaning his dinghy over there, getting ready for the winter time. Joy was covered in a very fine crust of salt and a good bath was definitely needed. For the sake of translation, she said, this is not gonna be a free lunch. It's gonna cost me a lot. No, 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 lunch, no. <laughs> Cash. <laughs> I would say the biggest issue that we had so far would be related to the mast. I don't know if you guys remember on past videos I was uh, uh, showing you uh, the roaring noise that we had uh, whenever winds were uh, over nine knots. So we would hear like a roar coming from the mast and uh, moving towards the cabins. So this is one issue. The second issue is related to the banging that we hear inside of the mast. That one, we don't know if it is the cables, the electric cables that are passing outside of the designated uh, pass-through for the electric cables or if the uh, this pass-through, which is plastic, has become loose and it's banging on the wall. So for that, unfortunately, we're gonna have to demast uh, Joy to see what is inside, what is happening inside of the mast. I don't know if you guys could hear that noise. Look, check it out. So it looks like the noise is coming from the electric cables. And my guess is so we're talking about those electric cables here, okay? Those are cables that come from uh, the TV that is up there in the mast. We have the, um, the LED lights here. So much cable actually that is uh, here. And I think there's a lot of slack inside that is actually banging inside of the mast. So demasting will be our only option here to see what is going on. So it's gonna be the moment of truth whenever we demast Joy to see what happens because this noise I'll tell you I mean you can hear it here okay but it reverberates inside of the mast and it goes uh, to our cabins so especially whenever we are at anchor with uh, some rolling on the side wow it becomes very very loud inside so we're crossing our fingers that the rigger is gonna be able to find out what the issue is uh, and fix it so for the next season we won't have this anymore and now for the roaring noise when I whenever I was talking to the rigger he was giving me some some uh, suggestions on what could it be well first they're gonna measure the tension of the stays that we have here on this boat uh, it could be too much tension or not enough tension the other thing could be the top uh, the top lifting uh, cable that we have here at the end that gray one see that goes all the way to the mast that could be uh, noise coming from the wind, uh, roaring, and then it equates inside of the mast and it goes uh, inside of Joy. That could be an option. So I'm gonna check this one out because we're gonna have some wind uh, probably tonight. So I'm gonna go up over there in the boom and feel if there's some uh, vibration coming from the topping lift. And to demast the Joy, there are several things that we need to do. Uh, first uh, of all is we have to remove uh, the Genoa so they're gonna be removing the Genoa uh, whenever they arrive here and uh, we're gonna have to be 
uh, right here. Uh, taking the boom out, separating this part here from the mask that is coming out and uh, disconnect pretty much everything that we have here and uh, of course the cables, uh, the connections that go inside of uh, Joy. Release pressure on all of the stays that we have here. Disconnect of course and the stays that are there and uh, that way the mast comes off, it comes out uh, with a crane that is coming uh, to lift this mast and put it into the ground so we can look inside and see what is wrong. So we have removed uh, the Genoa so far and uh, the guys here from Pro Rigging are taking care of the rest and I believe in the afternoon we're gonna be removing the mast. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I wanna dry up but too just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I wanna bury the hatchet And find a way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late they disconnected all the cables, everything is ready, but there's a line for you to get your mast off here in uh, Valencia. So we're waiting for that boat over there uh, to remove their mast so we can get going. Uh, that next challenge is gonna be to put Joy over there in that uh, little square. It's exactly nine meters and Joy is eight meters uh, wide. So. I think it's gonna be only enough space for the fenders to go in. It's gonna be like something that I'll probably need help not to get any additional uh, scratches on the hole. delivery of joy in July of 2021 and a week later we already knew something was wrong inside of our mast it took about five months to align our personal logistics approve warranty services with Lagoon and schedule a date for the mast to be removed so we could be here today The support from Mark as our dealer was very important and we were happy with it. I was also very impressed with the professionalism of Ignacio from Pro Rigging that showed that he really knew what he was doing from the beginning. I was assured we had the right people working on Joy. And today it's time to put mast back on. We have found out several things that was wrong inside of the mast. In one way it's good because we found the problem. So we feel like uh, once the mast is back on, we're not gonna hear the banging noise anymore. Whenever we were removing the mast yesterday, the rigger told me, I think I found the problem. Uh, and we're not gonna have to uh, take the mast off Then the last minute he said, you know what? We're here. We're gonna remove the mast because there may be additional noise coming from the mast and he was totally right <laughs> There was like uh, two of the tubes inside of the mast that were that came off and they were like banging from one side to the other and you can imagine inside of the mast it makes a lot of echo and uh, all of that noise was coming um, inside of Joy and we were, you know, sometimes we were not even able to, to sleep because it was so loud. So 
the tubes are back in place. Uh, the electric cables go inside of the tubes and they're all good. So we're not gonna have issues anymore crossing my fingers here. And uh, today they're gonna, what they're gonna do, they're gonna apply a fix uh, to where the carts that hold the mainsail go up and down because that kind of makes a noise as well going from one side to the other. So uh, it looks like one of the screws uh, that holds the entire trail that holds the carts in place was uh, broken. So they're fixing that one up, taking advantage that the mast is over there uh, this morning and in the afternoon the mast goes uh, back on joy. It took two days uh, to remove the mast and put it back on. They're uh, finalizing it right now. The guys from uh, the rigging company uh, just connected the, the, the stays here again. They're gonna put some pressure. And I uh, asked them, uh, you know, I've heard that Lagoon recommends 360 kilos of pressure in one of the stays. And uh, they told me that they measure by feeling the rigging here. And, uh, you know, that kind of made me wonder a little bit because if there's a recommended uh, uh, tension to put here on the stage how can they just measure by feeling so I don't know uh, we're gonna do a little research more see if there's like a machine that they can utilize so we can uh, see how much uh, tension there is in each one of them because apparently if they're too loose or too tight, it does create a problem. Connect everything uh, back on. So we opened here, uh, as you guys can see. So all of the cables that are coming from the mast is gonna be reconnected. So uh, chart plotter, like the wind speed uh, and everything else that is connected uh, through uh, the mast uh, starts working again. Taking the mast off, it's already like a very stressful thing. But putting the boat in this lot here with wind is even worse so i'm glad that we didn't get uh too much damage <laughs> on joy i think we caught <laughs> 